Hello, my name is Snowlight. This is my Warcraft University, a YouTube series intended to give new and mid-tier players simple concepts towards playing World of Warcraft at a higher level. In this video we will discuss macros at the introduction level. At its core, macros are a way to perform multiple actions by pressing a single button. This can include things like casting a spell, using an ability, using an item, equipping an item, or changing stances for certain classes. It can also send messages to other players through whispers, party chat, trade channels, and other channels. It can even kick off emotes like wave, salute, bow, cheer, or other things like dancing or telling jokes. Nearly any action your character can perform in the game can be accessed through a macro, so they have the potential to be very powerful and very complicated. Indeed, we could spend an entire mini-series on different macros for different classes. For today, we'll stick with just the basics. In previous videos, we talked about the global cooldown. But just as a reminder, this is around a 1 second cooldown that triggers when you use most spells or abilities. This is a limiting device to help keep the game balanced, especially around combat. However, not all abilities will trigger the GCD. You can use any number of these abilities, or other actions, at the same time. As a short example, my priest has a Shadow Fiend macro that looks something like this. I'll break down this type of macro later, but the short version is that it calls out a short message, uses both my trinket abilities, casts power infusion on the target player in my party, and then casts Shadow Fiend. Of these actions, only the Shadow Fiend cast will trigger the GCD, so it must be last. The other actions can be in any order above that line. As you make your own macros, you should be aware of how the GCD will affect the abilities you are trying to cast. The most value from macros will come from using abilities and items at the same time. As we've mentioned a few times now, there are two types of abilities that we will look at. Abilities from the spellbook, and abilities coming from items. First, let's look at the spellbook. In your macro, Add in the keyword slash cast at the start of the line, like so, and a space character, and then shift click on the ability you want the macro to cast. This will autofill the ability name. And now with items, it's slightly different. The items must have a use command, like you can see here, so instead of casting, we will slash use the item, just like this. Again, you can shift-click the item if your cursor is in the right spot, and it will auto-fill the name. Just like that, you have your first macros. Slide this into your bars like a normal ability, and give it a try. Okay, let's take it up one level. By default, spells or abilities will be cast either on yourself or on your current target in the game. There are two ways in macros to override this. First, you can change your target in the macro by using the slash tar command, followed by the name of the character you want to target. This will directly change your in-game target to the desired character. If you want to cast on a specific character without changing your target, start with the keyword, either slash cast or slash use, and then add square brackets before the ability or item name. In the square brackets, you can use the at sign and the target's name, or you can type target equals and then the target's name. As an example, I have macroed the priest ability Power Infusion to Blue's Hunter character here. You can see that when I click this ability, the target is changed to that character and then she gains the Power Infusion buff. Of course, I gain it too thanks to the Twin Suns talent, but that's a conversation for another video. This is not the full extent of the target feature as you can see from this crazy macro, but it should be enough to get you started. For today, let's add one more useful feature, text messages, to your macro knowledge. Especially in cases like we just demonstrated, 
it can be good to let another player know that you're casting a spell on them. Another case, if you're using spells like Polymorph or Sap or any other lockdown type of spell, it helps to let your raid members know not to touch it. For these kinds of examples, it works just like in the chat console. Type your desired channel, like slash W for Whisper, slash P for Party, or slash I for Instance, slash RA for Raid, and so on with other channels. And then simply type in the message on the rest of this line, like so. If you combine this with other items we have looked at in this video so far, you can make macros that will not only take an action, but lets the target know what you're doing at the same time. There are some cases, like these group messages shown here, where a purely text-based macro can still be useful to communicate so that your team knows what to do and when. The new profession system may bring this functionality more value to you. We'll have to see how it goes throughout Dragonflight. One last thing, when it comes to macros, remember that Blizzard has full access to review any macros you make. For most of us, this is not a big deal, since we generally will macro just a few things for those moments when it's really just go time. However, some people will take this to the extreme and build out macros to effectively perform an entire DPS rotation. This goes against the WoW Terms of Service, since it is more or less automating the game. Again, it's generally not a big deal, but just to keep this in mind for some of you more ambitious players. That about does it for this video. This only scratches the surface, but you should now be in a good place to start making your own macros. If you found this useful, please leave a like on the video or a comment with any questions or ideas so we can continue to work on this series. The subscribe button and the bell are there so you can see when new videos come out, if that is your desire. As always, please be positive in your guilds and help make WoW a fun place for everyone to play. Goodbye for now.